latest electrolysis update from your hairy godmother, your less hairy godmother. I'm headed to my next electrolysis appointment. Today is two hours and 45 minutes long. As you can see, I have a little Santa beard going on right now. I have numbing cream on, which I've made a video about how to apply. Um, so feel free to watch that. I'll link it up here so you can see. Um, I am using a different numbing cream though than I do show in that video. I found one that I ordered from Canada. It's a little bit stronger, works a lot a bit better. So I am wearing it right now, put it on before I left my house and applied Saran Wrap over my face, obviously cutting a hole over my mouth, not blocking my nostrils do the same if you do this method. Um, and what this does is it allows the numbing cream to absorb into my skin and not rub off or evaporate out on, and onto anything else, optimizing the numbing effect that you're trying to achieve. So I will put a link <clears throat> here or at least show you a picture of the numbing cream that I got. So today's appointment it's December 21st, 2023, and I've been getting electrolysis since April 1st, 2021. And if you've been following along, you will know that although it's been that long that I've been getting it done, there's been chunks of time when I wasn't able to go. <clears throat> Financial reasons, uh, family emergency reasons, employment reasons, etc hashtag life. It gets in the way, it happens, and you just have to pivot from there. But the key is that you continue going back and you continue getting the electrolysis to achieve the permanent status. So showing these before pictures, little recap. I have had polycystic ovarian syndrome for over 20 years. I've been living with this beard since I was 15 years old. Granted, it wasn't as severe until I got laser hair removal. I definitely had a beard and I had very severe excess hair, but it didn't get this dense, this dark, or this abundant until after I got laser hair removal. And so that's just kind of a PSA. It's not a guarantee, but if you have excess hair because of a hormonal condition, like PCOS or the like, Getting laser hair removal can risk paradoxical hypertrichosis, which means the hair gets stimulated instead of reduced, it comes back 10 times worse. And this is exactly what happened to me when I got laser about 12 years ago and I was ignorant to the fact that that risk existed, nor was I informed, nor do many laser places even now today they do not disclose the risk, whether because they don't want to risk losing the money or they themselves do not know that it is a risk. Um, again, there are some people that have success with getting laser, but those people might not have hormonal conditions or they might be getting the laser on an area that isn't classified as a hormonal area and they might have success. But I wish time and time and time again that I saw a video like this when I was younger, heard somebody say getting laser can stimulate more hair because I would have never, ever, ever gotten it in the first place. I cannot change my past. I can only try to utilize it to positively affect somebody else's future. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Now with my electrolysis, as of now, my starting point, you could see I had an absolutely full beard and even though I have my full cheeks covered here with this numbing cream, it's just because I didn't feel like spot checking the areas. But I mean, I literally have probably half a dozen hairs on this cheek left, same on this side. And compared to what it used to be, that, that is all that has yet to be treated yet. And the underneath here, as I've mentioned in my previous videos, that's my heaviest area. That's my beast zone that has that had the most amount of hair and it had been treated the least. So that is why the majority of what I'm still getting treated is under here, as well as my mustache and around my lip because those areas are 
so sensitive. So this numbing cream helps. I am going to bring you into today's appointment to just briefly to kind of show you once she wipes off the numbing cream, you can see the status of my hair on my face as of today. And then when I get back home after my session, I'll do a recap and show you a close up of how my skin looks afterwards. So you can not only see any reactions from my skin, or you can see the difference between the hair that was left versus what she was able to treat and remove today. And today's appointment will bring me close to around 143 or 144 hours total that I've gotten of electrolysis to date. So, um, long, expensive process and it's worth it though even though it would be lovely if insurance would cover it they haven't they won't i don't know what it what it takes because i know that other people have gotten it approved i know there's some some people in the transgender community that have gotten it approved and paid for which is fabulous um but i i just I don't understand or can't see why mine won't approve it. Um, so if you're able to get approval, that's awesome. I'd love to hear how you went about it. What were the circumstances of them accepting it and approving it? And um, So if you are getting this, don't... Um, don't be discouraged by the time that it takes. Um, if I gave up on this because of how long it was taking for me to see the results, I would never ever have gotten to the point that I am now to truly see the effects of my patients, my hard work, my electrologist's hard work, the hard work of my continued skincare. Um, and it's incredible how different it feels to be out in the world and not be thinking about my beard. It's foreign. Not that it's completely gone away, but, but I mean, it's probably 70% gone or, or I'm 70% complete. And, you know, when I'm used to previously going out and about in the world to work or school or an event or even to the grocery store, grocery store, every single thing I went out of the house for was a f this beard was the foundation of every thought I had going into those experiences. Is somebody standing too close? Is somebody seeing the shadow? Is somebody looking at me? Even though, honestly, who the F cares at this point in life? But maybe it's easier to say now that I don't have my beard as much as I used to, but i that's how I lived for decades. Shaved my face before work and school. If I even got myself to go to evening events, I'd shave again before then. And I missed out on so much life because of this. And I, I'm not a person that regrets things in life, but I guess, I guess I am because I do regret how much life I missed out on when I let my beard decide what I would or would not go out and do. And, but that's, that's all part of the reason why the, the effects of now and today are so much more severe and I can truly feel the difference in the mental and emotional aspects that I have in the things that I do because it is such a contrast to how I used to live life. Hiding and insecure and ashamed and um, it's not like I'm completely out of the woods with that though. I mean when you live that way for decades it kind of just becomes who you are and I'm still not a you know I'm, I'm an extroverted introvert, I guess you could say, class clown, like to goof around and have fun, but I get, I get my maxes. I, I like to go out and do things here and there with people in, uh, 
in micro doses. So having said that, I hope that if you've been following along for a long time and you've been getting electrolysis, that you stick with it and know that it's worth it and know that it will not come easy. It will not come painless. It will not come inexpensive. But it is up to you to categorize the worth of those things in how the future of your life can be. And I continue to keep that mindset. Every time I go, every time I feel the prick of the needle zapping my hair, every time I hear the cha-ching of paying the next bill for my electrolysis. Um, but but now I, I can continue through the remaining decades of my life in a little bit different light. And so I will continue posting these videos as long as I possibly can. So I'll show you. So Here's a close-up of my hair now when I transition into going into my appointment, and then I'll see you back when I get home to show you the results of today's appointment. So this is what's left of the hairs on my cheeks. And then the majority of it left is under here. I'm back home after my appointment. You just saw the before of the hair that existed before I went into my appointment. Two hours, 45 minutes later, this is what she was able to treat today. So she cleared the hairs on my left cheek. You can see underneath the areas that are still full of hair, she wasn't able to get to today, but then on my full cheek here, she was able to clear all those out. And underneath, along my jawline and my chin, and underneath in the B zone. See everything that she cleared? So she wasn't able to get this patch here or my mustache or right under my lip, but she still got a lot. So as soon as I got home, cleanse my face, moisturized, use the CeraVe healing ointment that I've gone over in multiple previous videos. And after today, I'm at 143, 144 hours of electrolysis to date since April 1st, 2021. So until my next video, thank you for watching. Comment with any questions and have a good holiday and a happy new year. Peace out.